It, it showed that Android is the big, big yeah. guy, and iPhone is, I think, third. The bottom line is that to target anything with a proprietary app is just ridiculous. Not only that, but you want to write an iPhone app, you have to code it in Cocoa. Who on our quote-unquote restaurant page is the phone number and the address and the hours. So we're just plain going to go into our index page, index.html, and in it, we see right here, we, we got our stuff on wild and then here. And so you have two domain you, names you too, that? right? Well, that's the question. Yeah, what I'm leaning towards is the <laughs> idea of not a separate real domain name, but a, a subdomain. Subdomain means, in this case, courthouseseafood.com, or m. Dot, which is what I would lean towards, oh. m.courthouseseafood.com. And then using some kind of scripting, whether it be PHP or Java or something else, to make it that if you got, went to this site, on a mobile device, it automatically served up m.courthouseseafood.com. Pre-made lessons by people that I admire that you know, are really good. And it wasn't easy to do that this time. I think that the work we did with Courthouse Seafood really served us well. And this is now, the it'll be the third time that this site served me well. Because I used it for a CSS class like a year ago or something. And now I use it for this, and I think I'll, I'll, I'm using it apparently.